obviously since the Vision Pro has come out, a lot of people have been like, oh, you can like do so much when it comes to productivity on the Apple Vision Pro. But people are also saying that you can do exactly the same amount on this, the MetaQuest 3. And I really wanted to look into it and do like a full series on how productive can you possibly be while working in VR. Now, first of all, I'm going to try just using the headset, not using any of this other stuff, because really that is the aim to be able to see what I can actually get away with doing just using the headset and a wireless keyboard and a wireless mouse. Now, I do understand from what I gather, the Vision Pro doesn't allow mouse, a mouse, a mice, a mouse, <laughs> but it does allow the trackpad, which I kind of understand makes a little bit more sense when it comes to not always being fully aware of your surroundings, even in pass-through. Being able to, you know, know how far you need to go. I, I, I kind of like the idea of using a trackpad over a mouse. We're going to see how easy it is. Now, generally, I question how much productivity and I really don't think there's going to be much. I think it's very going to be very similar to be able to use like your, your phone to do work on. So you'll be able to check your emails. You've probably been able to be able to do some things. But when it comes to actually being able to use this as a work device, standalone, I just don't see it. Which is why I think eventually I'm going to have to use something like Immersed or one of those other Horizon workrooms, which I really don't like the look of. But I mean... You know, apparently it works. So first of all, how easy is it to set up a mouse and a keyboard? Well, actually, it's pretty simple. You just go into Bluetooth and connect them both. Depending on the mouse and keyboard, sometimes a bit iffy. This one does come with a dongle, but it did connect. Don't need the dongle. Ideal, because I was like, when I bought it from Asda about five minutes ago, could I actually do it? And yeah, it does work. Shows up. Don't need the dongle. Bonus. First massive hurdle out of the way. Next big hurdle, actually working in VR. I just, I'm, I just don't, I don't buy into it. Especially not standalone. So day one, day one, working in VR. Glasses off, because I have Lenses from Ons VR. Check out the link in the description down below. <laughs> Shameless plug. I might as well, aren't I? Do you know what I mean? Um, so what can we do? Obviously, this thing is designed for gaming, but I see it all the time. Matter this, matter that. Oh yeah, it's all good for working VR. Um, I question it. Okay, right. So I've got my mouse. Yes, excellent. Um, so I thought I'd try designing something in Figma. Um, and we'll see. Okay, loaded up pretty well. Working on a thumbnail. Let's do it for this video. Um, monkey bar. Um, zooming in. Okay, that works. Okay. Let's delete that ugly first. Um, there we go. Let's just delete them all. He's just gone. I've had enough of him. Uh, okay, let's come up with a thumbnail for this video. Ha. Oh, he's there again. Oh, he's not going anywhere. I'm assuming I've locked that. I can't see. Right. 
some sacks. Increase the size. Good, big question is fonts. Uh, like, uh, that wasn't too complicated and painful. No matter how, how bad it is. See the graininess? Do you see it? I see it. I mean, the mouse cursor, I questioned why it needed to be that big, but I think it does. I think it needs to be that big. <sighs> I don't like the light spacing on that. Sorry. I don't like the line spacing on that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do we do it to? 200. I don't know whether to, to stick with him. Because the pain of and suffering you can see on my face right now is 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 mirrored in Max. But he's not wearing the right headset. So I'm going with I know it's simple, but that's generally what I go with when I'm coming up with a thumbnail. So, sort of job one task done. I'm going to question whether it really should be. Scroll wheel. 
Sorry, I was wrong. Um, Problem is, I'm not 100% sure the color it was on this. Let me know in the comments, guys. What do you think? What do you prefer? Okay, job one done. So can I edit? That's the big question. Can I edit a video? Just stand alone. Okay, so let's have a look at CapCut, see if it's possible. Um, go to media. I've already uploaded one from Google Drive and the other one is uploading from the headset itself. Let's go to the one that's on Google through Google. Uh, go through Google Drive. No, it doesn't let you yeah, like move this across. Bit of a shame. But you can click to where you want it to go to. What does it? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. B to cut. Just be modest. We have a transition. Make it awful. Radio blur. Oh yeah, go on. Then. That'll be funny. So let's play this and see how well it plays. Okay, sort of. Now you don't see it as much because it's not on up there. Let's. It's very limited. <laughs> yeah, the quest the quest free is not handling. <laughs> ah, ah, it's loaded in the the roller coaster from It's finally loaded that in from the media. Okay. It's dying. It doesn't want to do anything. Ah, ah. Nope. Can I delete it? Ah, I can delete. I just can't drag. No. Let's see the radio blur in action now. Now, look, obviously, oh, my eyes are a bit. One second. 
obviously, the Quest 3 is not designed to do video editing. <laughs> it can do thumbnails with Figma. Um, but really, the, the power isn't quite good enough. You're going to need a PC. So tomorrow's video is going to be using MEST for the first time, see how easy it is to set up, how to get going, and generally just how complicated life will be made by working in VR. Um, I think I've managed about an hour. Um, and the weight of the headset, I mean, I know the Vision Pro um, weight is not great. Um, I'm lucky to have the strap. Actually, what, what's the battery, battery percentage at? 56%. I have been recording. Um, I have been using pass-through. Uh, I do have my batteries on standby, which is why I'm using this strap. Overall, I think if you're just going to be checking emails, checking WhatsApp, looking at your Instagram posts, probably okay. Everything else, probably no. Um, let me know in the comments. Do you guys work standalone from a VR headset or do you use a mask? Just generally wondering how complicated it was to do more than anything. Um, Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you in the next one. Goodbye.